Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to toggle a click event in JavaScript. I have prepared an example in which I have four elements, four paragraphs. When I click once on an element, the background color and the font color will change. Clicking on the same element again, the colors are changed back. The order that we click on the elements doesn't matter. Now let's change the browser's window where our index file is loaded and start coding. Now this is our index.html file. As you can see, we have here a simple HTML structure with a link to our stylesheet and a script tag pointing to our JavaScript file, which is empty. In the CSS file, we have some basic rules, so we have a pretty layout. Now let's go to the index file and add the paragraphs that we saw in the example. We have one, two, three, and four. Every paragraph has a class of text. And that's all the HTML we need for this example. Now let's go to the JavaScript file. The first thing that I will do is to target all elements with a class of text and store them in the elements variable. Now the elements variable is holding a node list containing all paragraphs. Let me show you how this looks like. Let's do a console.log on the elements variable and bring the browser in the screen. I will press F12 and this will open the developer tools and the console. Now I will reload the page so our code in the HTML and the JavaScript file runs. We see in the browser our four paragraphs and in the console the node list that the elements variable holds. We can use a node list like an array. That means that we can loop through a node list and get access to the elements inside. So let's go back to the JavaScript file and do this. I will use a for of function to loop through the elements array and grab every paragraph with the element variable. Now I will add an event listener to every paragraph. I will set the first argument to click and the second argument is going to be a function. Now we can capture the click event when we click on a paragraph. Let's check this out. I'm going to add a data attribute. I'm going to name it clicked and I will set the value to true. To any paragraph we click on. The keyword this refers to the clicked element. Let's see this in action. I will bring the browser and the dev tools in the screen. I will reload the page and I will go to the elements tab which will show me all the HTML elements that I have in the page. Now I will click on the first paragraph. Notice what happens in the dev tools. We see that the data attribute is added to the element that we clicked on. Let's do the same thing to the other paragraphs. Nice. Now we have a reference point to perform a check. So let's go back to the JavaScript file and write an if statement which will check if the element that we clicked on has a data clicked attribute. I will say if there isn't a data clicked attribute, I will add one. So let's bring the code in line 6 inside the if statement. And I will change the background color and the font color. Else if the element that we clicked on has a data clicked attribute, we will remove it. Also we will remove the style attribute. By doing so, we will remove the background and the font color that we applied. Let me show you this in action. Watch again what happens when I click on the first paragraph. We see the data attribute and the style attribute are added to the element. Let's click on the other ones too. Nice. Now let's reset the elements to the initial state. Nice again. Now this is how to toggle a click event. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.